Hey there, folks. Today I want to talk about a topic that's very common, but not often discussed openly erectile dysfunction or ED, especially in older adults. Now, you might be surprised to know that around 70% of men aged 70 and older report having trouble achieving an erection that's satisfactory for intercourse. It's a normal part of aging, but it doesn't mean you have to just live with it. There are several factors that can contribute to ED, including cardiovascular disease, diabetes, reduced testosterone levels, and even the medications used to treat other conditions such as high blood pressure and depression. Heavy substance use, psychological conditions like stress and anxiety and being overweight can also play a part. The good news is there are effective treatments available. For older adults, addressing ED often requires a two-pronged approach. First, you'll need to tackle any underlying conditions like diabetes or cardiovascular disease. Second, you can address the ED symptoms directly with medication or other treatments. One of the most common treatments for ED in older adults is a class of drugs known as phosphodesterase 5 PDE5 inhibitors. These medications help relax blood vessels, allowing more blood to flow into the penis, which can help produce an erection. The main PDE5 inhibitors are sildenafil, better known as Viagra, Tadalafil, known as Cialis, Vardenafil or Levitra, and Avanafil, which goes by the brand name Stendra. Each of these works a little differently. For example, Vardenafil usually works faster, while Tadalafil's effects last longer, making it a good choice for daily dosing, especially if you also have an enlarged prostate. Side effects from these medications are usually minor and temporary, like headaches, flushing or stomach pain. However, more serious side effects like priapism, a prolonged and painful erection, can occur, so it's crucial to speak with your doctor to find the right medication and dosage for you. Remember, ED is a common issue and nothing to be embarrassed about. Your doctor has these conversations all the time, so don't shy away from discussing it. Honest communication with your partner is also important. Treat ED like you would any other health condition, such as arthritis or high blood pressure. Counseling can also be beneficial for both you and your partner as you navigate this journey together. So, the bottom line, ED is common, especially as you age, but it's treatable. Start with a frank conversation with your doctor to find the right solution for you. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more health tips. Take care. Okay.